Hello, everybody. My name is Jose Maragón. I'm promoter for Power System Stability Solutions and Digital Stations at the Smart Infrastructure Digital Grid in Nuremberg. Today, I would like to have an opportunity to speak with you about benefits or cost saving which process bus technology can bring. So, I will start with the introduction to digitalization. What is for us and how do we understand it? When I will share our view on how process bus based projects are executed with more attention to a specification adaptation, when we will take a look deeper in which areas of sewer stations is possible to save costs and what are they. And finally, we'll finish my presentation with information about latest developments in the field of process bus technology. Let's have a closer look to our energy system. In the past, our power system was unidirectional. Energy was produced in power plants and then via high voltage overhead lines and sewer stations, it was supplied to the customer. Today, power generation has shifted from bigger power plants and high voltage to medium and low voltage network because of renewable such as wind and solar power. Additionally, in low voltage network, we have increasing amount of e-car changing stations and energy storage batteries because customer and even countries want to become carbon neutral to minimize emissions of CO2, gas which contributes to global warming. So all these changes makes grids more complex and our customers are facing new challenges. How to ensure a stable and reliable energy flow to the consumers? And this is where digitalization can help us as by digitalize our grid and we can manage these complex grids. But where do we begin with it comes to the digitalization? Electrical sewer stations are known as the heart of the power grids. They need to manage multidirectional power flows and are key in ensuring grid availability and reliability. So, this is where it all begins. We say that digitalization is supported by IoT communication, cybersecurity, and IEC 6150 standard. So, we consider sewer stations at di as digital ones only those which are based on IC 6150 standard. Speaking about digitalization and our portfolio, we say that digitalization is supported by four pillars, which represents our products and solutions. The first one is protection. The second one is automation and control. The third one, operation. And the last one, access management. Today, we will speak about protection process bus technology, benefits it can bring to the customers. Let's start with the view how process bus technology could be implemented in sewer stations. Basically, implementation can be divided in four steps. In first step, customers are making small pilots, lab or sewer station installations for one or two feeders, where protection based on process bus technology is not allowed to trip circuit breakers. In this step, customers are learning how to deal with this technology, how to configure devices, also they test interoperability between different manufacturers. In step two, after gaining basic knowledge, they write specifications or just guidelines for full process bus implementation in sewer station. In step three, with full technology rollout in sewer station customers, we'll start seeing real benefits of this technology. We'll gain experience how to deal with it. And only then, in step four, they can really start benefit from his technology and successfully build sewer stations based on process bus. And this is where we can help our customers to make this transition faster from step one to step four as we can support them in pilots, tender requirements, writing and learning how to configure and commission process bus based sewer stations. Now, let's discuss why it's necessary to change existing customer specifications of conventional sewer stations. First, 
of all existing specifications had been based on conventional current transformers and voltage transformer solutions. All signals from sewer station to control room was transmitted via Cooper cables. Cooper cables had to be light in cable trays. Protection devices were not able to perform multiple protection and automation functions in one device. Now, same redundancy and functionality can be achieved with less devices. Protection, protection relays can be used as merging units and vice versa. Previously, we used one or even two relay cabinets for one bay. Now, relay cabinets become empty as not cable and cable terminals are, are used, so we have much more free space in them. So in order to benefit achieve cost savings from new technology of process bus, it is mandatory to adapt tender specifications accordingly. Let's take a look at primary equipment, which benefits process bus technology could bring. Of course, it will be allowed to have smaller primary equipment, especially it can be seen on a high voltage gas insulated switch gear, we call GIS, by using low power instrument transformers, LPITs. We can dramatically reduce size and weight of them. Additionally, we will achieve higher measurement performance. With process bus technology, we don't need so much secondary windings in current transformers as before. It means that we can manufacture high voltage equipment faster and build sewer stations faster. Additionally, by having different sensors in primary equipment, we can make asset management easier. Now, let's take a look at field which optimizations could be achieved there. Because almost no Cooper cables are used anymore, we don't need so big cable trays as before. So they can be reduced in size or maybe even substitute with simple plastic pips. It means we will need less materials and civil works. Marine units should be mounted in field, in existing primary equipment, control cabinets, or separate outdoor relays cabinets close to the primary equipment. As we don't have Cooper cables in the field anymore, we don't have commissioning and maintenance costs of them. Our sewer station becomes more reliable, as in case fiber optic cable will be damaged, it will be noticed immediately. Also, such a station is more safe to operate as we don't have secondary wiring in control room anymore. Speaking about control room, in control room we have much smaller amount of relays cabinets as before because multiple protection and automation functions can be implemented in one protection relay. Also, there are not terminals and Cooper cables like before. Relays can be smaller as they have not binary inputs or binary outputs or analog inputs. Also, signals from the field are transmitted via fiber optic cables. So it's easier to commission and maintain such, such a station. Especially, it will be very easy to retrofit also stations as we will use only merging units, fiber optic cables, and protection devices with switches. As for overview, let's take a look to our latest developments for process bus, which will help even more to optimize our process bus based protection solutions and further contribute to cost savings. First, we have CProtect Digital Twin software, which substitutes our CProtect 5 protection relays and enable to test relay configuration without having physical relay on the table. We have released boost bar protection based on process bus, which supports up to 45 bays. Also now for process bus, we support HSR communication rings topology. In this way, we will be able to reduce the amount of switches needed to connect merging units. Also, we can have multiple protection functions like uh, overcurrent protection and also multiple control functions like point of wave, automatic voltage regulation, and phase or measurement unit in one device. And last but not least, one IC6150 communication card supports station bus and process bus 
based on IC is 2150-9-2, same as phasor measurement unit in one network. Grab up. So I would like to invite you to digitalize your two stations with us, Siemens. You are welcome to contact me for any further questions related to digital substation, especially process bus technology. I would like to say thanks for your attention and uh, I hope that we can meet together soon. Thanks a lot.